Alright, here's my non-caffeinated version of the video I did last night. But, here's a boat somebody's selling. It's like $100,000. I just wanted to get give you an idea. Um, all the stuff's there. You don't have to mess with all the rotted out 2x2s and stuff if you renovate um, a camper or an RV and uh, depending on the boat you get I'll find a crappy one um, but okay next page find a real crappy one for no money alright 36 foot no, I'm not trying to sell a boat. I'm not helping this guy out. It's just uh, ideas. Um, I don't know, $400 is what you're going to get, but um, should you be able to get it for 400 bucks, it'd be a, a lot nicer to live in a boat. You got more stuff to mess with and play with. Uh, generator and compressors and the motor and all that should be a lot easier to renovate. Um, it's not going to rot out like an RV. You're not going to have mice problems coming up through the hull unless you allow it to somehow. But you can keep it on the trailer. Um, if you don't care what it looks like, just layer it up with fiberglass or um, foam insulation boards and uh, form them around and then uh, fix it on there somehow. But if you're way out in the boonies, who cares what it looks like? Uh, if you're fairly good skill wise, um, you just layer it all up and put a fiberglass coating and just have a shell for cold weather or warm weather depending but alright two hundred dollars cabin cruiser and it's all beat up but still you can get a lot of good parts off a boat and just depending on your comfort level as to what you want to stay in. If you just use it as a uh, bunkhouse or full time living, I'd rather take one of the boats apart and get it livable than to take an RV apart that's just going to continually de deteriorate. Um, sailboats, motorboats, whatever kind you can get your hands on um, not that bit of a stretch to uh, get it working for a shelter um, bury it in the dirt put it in your bunker you got the parts and pieces quicker than making it out of wood or whatever so you just get a whole bunch of sawzalls just cut pieces out that you want and the ones you don't want you send to the landfill um, a lot of these people it's unseaworthy but even just gutting out the entire in innards yeah pretty nice little waterproof shelter flip it upside down depending on um, what you want to use it for <clears throat> and then you just you can take two of them put one up over the top of the other and then uh, seal up where they meet with fiberglass and foam and stuff like that and there you go uh, it's not for everybody but you can get all kinds of goodies you got the batteries right there, you got all your wiring you don't have to get it donated to you 
um, you can get trailers, you can utilize that for different things. Uh, see the, the range and price, this is all the good ones, but project boats, or you just start searching around, you can find them. Many different sources. Uh, depends on your negotiating ability and handiness to be able to do something. But uh, good fiberglass cutting sawzall blades. Figure you, know, you go through a whole bunch of them, and then uh, utilize parts in different ways. It's just an idea. Thought I'd get out. Uh, I gotta see project boats, uh, sailboat, uh, use boats, uh, I'll see project boats, but uh, alright, $13.20 bid, depending on where you live, you can get that, see the trailer, uh, say, boop, boo, cut off the keel, seal that up, throw it in dirt, um, use the mast to put your solar panel array on, depending on the strength of the cables and how much weight you got. Put a um, windmill generator and all that. You can figure out what to do when you get there. New ideas will pop up with all the extra little parts that you cut off. Uh, I'm sure a lot of that wood's going to be garbage. But if you're skilled with woodworking, wood bleach and polyurethane, and wood bleach is just peroxide really strong, it'll, it'll do the same thing. And give it a little bit of a green tint. But I've taken black wood with peroxide sanitizer and spilled it on there. It'll dissolve a lot, but it can turn wood, that's the just black, rotten-looking stuff, into a real nice-looking piece of wood. And then you gotta neutralize it and all that. But um, you see what you—that's not exactly livable, but just for a storage shell underground storage shelter. Emergency quick, um, occasional use. Uh, you take two bolts, throw them under the dirt. Uh, structurally, um, don't do it stupid, but you can uh, get some bolt holes under the under the dirt uh, a lot quicker and cheaper than ordering a big, expensive hundred thousand uh, dollar units. Or whatever. I've seen them do the just all the big plastic tank under the ground. Uh, you want to fill them and support them if you're going to surround it in cement. And then uh, you can go from there. It's not that big of a stretch for your imagination. Um, Alright, just showing out some ideas. There's another one. And then uh, you don't got to worry about a whole lot of other problems that you would have in renovating an RV. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be rotted out parts or weak. But you just throw a coat of fiberglass and seal up any holes and stuff before you stick it underground or on the ground. Um, being up on a trailer is not going to be protected from storm or super cold. So, you gotta take all that into consideration. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're gonna get all kinds of little goodies stocked away that somebody just doesn't want anymore that can be utilized. Uh, I don't know what much to say. It's just throwing out ideas. Um, Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.